Hello Polygoners, I am Shaft, you are watching a Polygon Gaming Daily Cast, we might as well call this the Scarlet Series because we've been doing a lot of Scarlet games, so not to disappoint you, let me go ahead and introduce the Queen of Blades herself, here on Proxima Station, in the Blue Zerg Trunks, she is Scarlet! And her opponent. In the red potato suit, it's none other than Tood Ming. Now, Tood Ming is a player who excels in Lang Bane Lang Micro. And it's interesting to see the players that Scarlet's been playing against. I know I've talked a lot about her playing with No Regret and just the Korean mentality in general, but Chinese player Tood Ming is a little bit different from everyone. China, of course, not the most, um, let's say, open to, um, of communities so there's a lot of uh like chinese characteristics that don't really get talked about that are really exclusive to that community but in any case tood ming is one of the players who's known like second only to life for his ling bing ling micro and I, I hate saying that name because everyone knows what happened so let's just forget that ling bing ling micro tood ming is good at but that of course leads to this situation here Scarlet saw with this overlord that there are these lings coming out. So just seeing that alone is going to prompt her to be super defensive. And uh, that wasn't actually that many lings. It was eight, and it's about three minutes into the game. So yeah, that's a little bit of a rush, but she's knows her opponent, and she's particularly practicing against this. Actually, I proved this to you guys this is a private game this is just like something they were doing it's not like something where they were playing for money or a prize or anything like that so she is particularly practicing against ling bane ling styles when she's playing against him and uh trying to hone her finesse against that so i just wanted to highlight that so as you see she is <laughs> even blocking her own mineral fields with an evolution chamber. So she's probably planning on canceling at least this, if not both of these items, um, should this attack not arrive. And of course, Tood Ming knows this attack was revealed and is just going back home or maybe even hiding these links, I'm not sure. But in any case, Scarlet goes ahead and cancels this and is going to continue to drone. Tood Ming also droning it at home, but getting that Baneling Nest, whereas you see, Scarlet has not got the Baneling Nest. She has consistently been skipping this Baneling Nest or delaying it. And I'm not exactly sure why. I would love to get her opinion on that. Or maybe you guys in the comments below could maybe tell us your opinions. Or if you've heard her talk about it in an interview or on stream, please, you know, provide us a link. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, something I've been wondering myself. So, now she's going to be sending out these links. Cause she's, I know she's a little bit confused, so this makes sense. She's getting Burrow, which doesn't quite make sense unless she's planning on doing something with, like, Burrowed Banelings. I'm not really sure, but... Ooh! Devastating attack right here. She was not expecting that. Now, she is definitely going to be panicking. Zerglings amass out the wazoo right now. She's finally getting that Baneling Nest, but is it too late? It's hard to be certain. She's uh, only floating around 100 gas, so she's still doing okay, but here are the Banelings for her opponent. Getting a pretty good surround here on the Spinecrawler. She didn't have it uh, flush against that hatchery. That Spinecrawler does fall. Queen falling uh, with a pretty easy surround as well. And uh, going to be doing a good job zoning the Lings with the drones, but of course just not enough drones there. And uh, the attack at the north was defeated, but... Still not enough to, to, to take care of the leftover units there for Tood Ming. And of course, Scarlet going to be falling there to what appeared to be a very basic rush. But there was a couple of elements there that I really want to talk to you guys about. Because showing those lings, you know, Tood Ming couldn't kind of really avoid that. Proxima Station's kind of like a one path map. So it's hard to not show those. But he knew that. Scarlet saw that. He trusted that she was good and knew that she would uh, react. So he just didn't do the attack and didn't even show it, didn't show any hints of aggression, and she canceled it. But when she moved forward, she triggered 
this response in Ming. Once he got that Baneling hit, he knew it was on. That Baneling hit changed everything. Because had, you know, Scarlet only lost, like, one Ling there and, you know, gone home, she would have had some units to reinforce and have a chance at defending Tude Mink. Even without the Banely Nest. I think if she had had the Banely Nest, she might have been able to. But this is the idea of spending minerals versus spending gas. She's going to be able to get a much sicker economy. But Tud Ming, beginning to realize that his opponent likes to skip that Banely Nest, likes to be a little greedier on the minerals and skipping of the gas, he's beginning to learn how to exploit it. And I think that's pretty fascinating. Anyways, guys, I am Shaf with Polygon Gaming. If you like this, please hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends, and visit us on Patreon. It helps a ton. Even just $1 a month can change StarCraft as we know it. Until next time, guys, Chatelet, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.